Okay, so far this mat needs a little bit of help. We have an organic object, but the defaults that we have from our brush give us a very jaggedy feel. So we're going to use our options here. The first option will be smooth, and I'll go ahead and twirl that open, and I'm going to move this slider to the right. And I'm keeping my eye actually on this part of the, the comp, and I'm not really looking at the slider. So I can see if I'm going too far. And as you can see, when I go all the way over here, it's too smooth. And I'm going to try to find a nice happy medium. Now this is going to work with the choke value. So I'm going to go ahead and twirl choke open. And I'm going to move this to the right as well. And this is going to really bring that mat closer to his body. So at this point, as you can see, it's really nice and tight. But we're losing the ear and we're losing some parts of the paws. So we can go ahead and take our brush and just help After Effects along and add those pieces back in. Unfortunately, even though this is a great tool, it's still going to require the human eye and our ability to really work with this to make it perfect. So don't expect it to be great right away. So what I'm going to do is now go to this section that we haven't covered yet called Refine Matte. Now everything is ghosted out until we enable it by clicking here. So I'll go ahead and put that on. And now we can actually start working with this. Now, as you can see here, we have a little warning. It tells us to best view the edge color decontamination, turn off the alpha boundary. Now, that's this guy right here. We, we click this icon and that will go away. So you can really focus on any kind of pixelization or any kind of dirt that could be contaminating this edge. So I'm going to turn that back on just for now so you know what that is. Now we have the ability to reduce something called chatter. And chatter can be any kind of background noise that's going on back there. A lot of blurring, a whole bunch of snow, anything that could be uh, causing too much chatter or noise in the background. Now in this case, he's simply walking across the kitchen floor, so I don't expect too much chatter back there. But if you needed to, you can use a slider to adjust the amount of chatter that is disturbing your image. We also have the ability for After Effects to auto detect motion blur by using this here and it will add a blur along the edge of our selection as well where appropriate. And last but not least we have something called decontamination. Like the cat ate a mouse and I wasn't aware of it and the mouse was radioactive. Now de decontamination is kind of like chatter but we have along the edges here pixelization or any kind of dirt or dust that's clinging on or you know getting inside of the selection. So what we can do here is use the decontamination tools to decrease that amount of uh, content. And once again, to, to really see what you're doing, you want to click this button so you can really focus along the edge of what we have here. So that is how we can use the roto brush to quickly create a rotoscope around an object. Don't forget, the value for smoothing is going to be different dep depending on what you're trying to roto. So if you have an organic object, a, a fruit, a, a person or whatever, or even a baseball that's not organic but it's still round, you want to play around with this value to get a nice uh, smooth fit. Whereas if it's more inorganic or squarish, you can go this way and uh, once again work in conjunction with choke to really get that mat to fit close to the edges.